Uh, my name is James Story. I'm with the Target Management Office, uh, PEO Strive PMX. Uh, we're here at White Sands Missile Range with these seven targets that we're going to use this Fort MSHORE at. The Army Ground and Aero Target Control System started with ATEC. ATEC actually came to us and said, hey, we want you guys to come up with a common, well, I shouldn't say common, but an Army control system to control aerial ground and seaborne targets. So that's what we're doing here. You see the ground part, but we also do subscale, uh, we do seaborne targets. So we have SUASs and UASs that are controlled by AGATs as well. All robotics, you can either tele out the vehicle with the system in it, or you can put it into a waypoint following and it'll do autonomous. Um, I can record a, a, a road march or whatever drive for like a mile, two miles. Hit go and it'll do the same thing over and over and over again until it runs out of gas. So um, currently we're at White Sands Missile Range doing this. Two parts. One, we actually came out as part of our filming process to Wismer to give them one of these. So we trained them on how to operate it, how to install it. Then that went into integrating AGATS into building 335 here at Wismer to use AGATS to control ground and seaborne and aerial targets. Not necessarily the seaborne, but. Um, then the third part was we just happened to have a customer, M. Shorad, that wanted seven kits to do a proof of concept that they're working on. So we're out here, we rolled it into three things. We did training, we did integration, and now we're doing test support. Uh, we have seven Humvees that we're out here supporting them with that are remote controlled. We're controlling them from uh, Wismer Range Control Building 335, which is about 60 miles away. So currently, what we're doing is we use the linear actuators to control the throttle, the brake, and the shift. And then on the, for the steering, we have a rotary actuator that connects with, via a shaft. So this shaft comes down, we've got another one that attaches here for the steering wheel. So actually, you can see you have a pin here in the rear, a pin in the front. This actuator would sit right in here like this, connected to these two cables controlling the throttle and the brake, you'd have two of them. What we're doing is we're just trying to protect them, keep the dust out, don't want to have any problems. On the inside of the vehicle, so this is your engine interface module. This ties into the uh, OBD2 uh, for the vehicle. This is your on-off switch. This big box here is your power conditioning module. So the uh, power runs from the battery to your, to your master on-off switch, which runs to your power conditioning module. It'll boost the power up to 24 volts or drop it down to eight volts based on what you're running. So the VCM, which is the vehicle control module, runs off like eight volts. Whereas the actuators are 24 volts. So um, in the back, Here we have a, let me pull it up off of this Velcro so you can see it. It's actually a Ethernet port switch box. So you have your power coming in from your camera on the front. So you got your camera running, you've got a Ethernet cable, you've got a power cable. You also have your radio, which is back here in the back for your data, so you've got to power it and it's all gonna, it all comes through the Ethernet switch. It's pretty, pretty simple system, works really good. This is a e-stop button. So inside of the vehicle, on the engine interface module that I showed you earlier, it has a red button. So if you had a safety rider in it, they could hit that button and stop the vehicle. This is the same concept here. If you're around the vehicle, start, something goes wrong, you can hit this and stop it. Also, you have it on the front and you're going down the going down the road what would happen is if it hit a bush or hit a, a wall or something this would engage like that and then it would stop the vehicle it's a safety factor that we've uh, provided on all of the remote control systems that we provide so works pretty good this is for storage so that and if say you're doing a development test and you're out there and you don't want it to stop 
you know what you're doing, you're only going short distance and low speed, you keep this up out of the way, especially if you're doing a, a cross country road, because it'll stop, I mean, as soon as it hits a bush, and then you're starting again, so. But that's what these are. There's one in the front, one in the back, one inside. The range control building where they control it, they have on the OCI, they have an e-stop, they have a mission commander e-stop, and they also have a range safety e-stop. So multiple ways to stop the vehicle so it doesn't harm anybody.